welcome. This is Minute with the Mayor. I'm Arlene Bornstein, and joining us is our Mayor, Dean Trantalis. Hi there. Hello, how's it going? Very good, thank you. Let's start off with something fun. Inter-Miami's yes. big season opening win here in Fort Lauderdale. Absolutely. Two to zero, we beat uh, Montreal. It's a great, great opener for our community, which goes to show you how exciting the sport has become. And everyone is so excited for this season. So we're very, very happy to have Inter-Miami here in Fort Lauderdale. And what's going on with Inter-Miami? I know there was a recent article in one of the papers talking about the park, so we wanted to sort of maybe respond to that. So as part of the original deal, uh, you know, after they built the stadium, we were going to come up with something that was for the public, completely for the public, open to the public in a certain area, like 20 acres of land to the to the south of the, of the stadium. So we had an original design and then we kept coming up with new ideas, new opportunities, but I think we need to move forward on this. I think a, a park is necessary, at least for most of the space, uh, and we're talking about a public park, a dog park. Uh, we might even bring, bring eSports into this area. Uh, we've been talking all kinds of opportunities, but let's get going on the park and let's Let's get started. Speaking of next steps, the water treatment plant, yes. that's another big deal and I know yes. there's a few things going on that you're looking forward to. So the city commission approved after many years of consideration and study and public outreach and, and listening to the experts and hearing our own folks here in the, in the city staff that we're moving forward on building a brand new water treatment plant here in Fort Lauderdale. This will replace the five ash water treatment plant and it will be built closer to the source of the water so that uh, there's some there are some synergies that we can benefit from. Taking away that uh, greenish yellow water that people have been complaining about for years but also to make it safer and more resilient to extreme weather situations like category four and five hurricanes. Right now we would be a victim if a, if a hurricane like that came to Fort Lauderdale and we can't we have to make sure that we have a supply of water all the time regardless of the weather. What are we looking forward to with the water treatment plant? What are some of the next steps now that you know it's already in the works? So the next steps are there. It's it's now in the hands of the uh, companies that were first proposing this, and they've already come up with the initial designs. And so we're moving forward still in the design phase, and then we'll begin the construction phase sometime next year. Exciting. Well, something else coming up, the Aquatic Center. It's in full swing since our opening celebration, which was very fun and beautiful. Uh, there is a competition coming up. Yes, our first major competition, USA Swimming, be March 1st through March 4th. Very, very excited about that. Uh, USA Swimming is going to be presenting this uh, event. It'll be presented by NBC Sports, as well as uh, live streamed on Peacock and CNBC. So all eyes will be on Fort Lauderdale. and. Our wishes are finally coming true. Fort Lauderdale is back to being number one in swimming and diving competition around the world. That is excellent. And this one's a hard segue. We're going from competitive swimming to the leprechauns around Fort Lauderdale competing yes. for their pot of gold. We brought something fun for you, Mayor, to celebrate, you know, the parade and festival happening. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so it's all going to be, we're all going to be Irish one day, uh, March 11th. Uh, we're having once again our, our Fort Lauderdale St. Patrick's Day parade. Uh, it's going to be uh, 12 noon will be kickoff on the beach this year though. On the beach. Uh, and we're very excited. The festival, festival will also be on the beach and uh, we're expecting many thousands of people. Of course, it'll interact with spring breakers so it'll give them something to do while they're here. And uh, so it's going to be a fun place to be and a fun time to be together. Wow, that sounds like so much fun and great for the whole family too. For the whole family, for friends, uh, not just visitors. And we're very, very happy about uh, what we're able to provide for people here in our community. We will both see you there March 11th, and hopefully we yes. see you again soon with another Minute with the Mayor. Absolutely. Okay.